Hello, this is Karen with the Band Group, and we'll be taking a look at how you can use Outlook and Teams together. Here are some points we'll be covering. Email integration, meet now or later, actionable activity emails. So a while back, we had updates on Teams where you could send a conversation thread or post in Teams to Outlook. The same can now be done from Outlook to Teams. If we open up our desktop application, we are now seeing a email that I received that I would like to share with my team members in Teams. Instead of having to copy and paste the entire text or taking a screenshot or even having to save this email as a file and then re-uploading it back onto Teams, if I navigate my attention to the toolbar ribbon at the top, we have the share to Teams button. If you're using Outlook on the web, we also have the option to select that option by going to more action and then choosing share to Teams. Now what happens after I select this button is a window in Teams appears. Here I have the option to choose the person, group, or channel that you wanna share this email to. If we start selecting our user's name, you can see that it automatically pulls up. We also have an option to include a message to introduce your email or communicate any extra information. As similar to any other team's message, we have the option to add, mention someone to ensure that you get the right people's attention. Now, for an example, if the email contains any attachment, they are automatically included when you send the email to teams. But if you prefer not to include the attachment, you can remove them by selecting or deselecting this option here before sending it to Teams. If your email doesn't contain any attachment, this option is automatically grayed out. Once you're all set and have included the person, group, or channel you wanna share this email to and added your message, go ahead and begin by selecting the Share button. All right, then you get a confirmation that your email is on its way to Teams. The next feature I wanna talk about is the Meet Now or Later. Our users are already familiar with the Meet Now button in our calendar view or setting up a new meeting for a later time in Teams. That same option can be found if we navigate to our Outlook and look at the ribbon at the top. We see those same button called Meet Now and New Teams Meeting. One thing to point out is this button is different from creating a new appointment or a new item in Outlook. As you can see here, I have to take an additional step to let my meeting invitation know that this is gonna be a Teams meeting. Now, if we exit back out and cancel on that, when we select new Teams meeting, I don't have to, again, select that button to let this meeting invitation know that this is a future Teams meeting. As you can also see, we have the option to join the Teams meeting now or pre-configure some more additional settings with our meeting before it begins. The last feature I want to share in this video is the actionable activity emails. This feature is automatically turned on for user and this happens if you have missed a reply from your team member for example, one of my team members named Linda had recently messaged me and we were recently talking and I had stepped away from my computer. What happens if I don't reply or I didn't open up that conversation? Teams will send the missed activity to your Outlook. This will help you catch up on any missed conversation if you're primarily focused or have your attention mostly on Outlook. Currently, our organization has a setting turned on to only allow this button, Reply in Teams, to be able to respond back to the person you're having a conversation with. Normally, if this setting is not turned on, you can directly send a message from this Outlook email and type directly to your team members without having to navigate over to Teams. If you'd like to learn more about the actionable activity emails parameters, be sure to check the link in the description below or keep an eye out for future videos where I further explain about the parameters for this actionable activity emails option. So with that, I want to thank you again for joining me in this tips and trick video. If you found this video helpful, 
please give us a like and hit the subscribe button and we'll see you next time.